Hello, this is David G and welcome to another week of Life Tools. This week we're exploring mantra, M-A-N-T-R-A, often pronounced mantra, mantra. So what is a mantra? It's made up of two Sanskrit words, man, which means mind, and tra, which means vehicle or instrument. So a mantra is a mind instrument, a mind vehicle. In virtually every philosophy and religion that uses mantras, they are meant to be repeated over and over and over again. Whether that's Hinduism, Jainism, Sikhism, Buddhism, uh, Tantrism, any of the basic philosophies that use this mind vehicle to connect us to states of higher consciousness or states of the stillness and silence that rests within, we use these mantras as tools. Mantram is what they're called. That's what the whole philosophy is called. When we look at the concept of mantra, we realize by repeating something over and over and over and over and over and over that has no meaning, and mantras can have meaning or not have meaning, but when we repeat something over and over that has no meaning, 60,000 to 80,000 thoughts are pouring into our head that do have meaning, even if they're not Einsteinian epiphanies. And at one point, at some point during our meditation practice, the thoughts are coming in, meaning, 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 meaning. We're repeating this sacred vibration over and over and over and not giving it any meaning. At some point, they cross each other out. And in that moment, in that space, between the thoughts, between breaths, between words, between vibrations, when there is total stillness and silence, there is no thing. And that's the gap. That's transcendence. That's uh, Atma Darshan, glimpsing the soul. And so we use a mantra. We've all heard of, we've read about them, we've seen it on TV. Uh, we use mantras as sacred tools to help us connect to the depths of our own stillness. Om, which is probably one of the oldest mantras that has ever existed. The Akara, the Ukara, the Makara, a u m Aum. So that's probably one of the oldest one, and it's just a vibration. It has no meaning. It's a vibration. It's the vibration that essentially tells an entire story. This is that line of Turiya, the next realm, and this dot is the universe. And so it's our waking state, our sleeping state, our dreaming state, the state beyond, and the universe. Aham Brahmasmi, baby. So this week, let's practice our mantras. And we can use Aham Brahmasmi as a mantra, Satchit Ananda, Sankalpa, Moksha, Ananda, or any of the hundreds of mantras that I've shared each week in the guided meditations, the weekend meditations, uh, or in Secrets of Meditation. I list a whole bunch of Mahavakyas for you to access to help you connect to deeper states of consciousness that rest within. From the sweet spot of the universe, I'm wishing you an amazing week of mantra. And I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.